I am rocking the Can I Have a Waters. Cam is rocking the Strawberry Mimosas. Emmanuel is walk, uh, rocking the Coffees. And uh, it's, it's doing good, man. So if you haven't gotten a pair, go to ShadySideUp.com. Get you a pair. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and most importantly, click the bell so you get notified as soon as we drop a new video. Also, if you have clicked the bell, make sure that your YouTube notifications are enabled so that you get the notification. Enjoy the video! This is the time my dad missed the best football game of my life. Yeah. First off, I'm wearing this football jersey because I'm telling a football story and I'm a diehard Dallas Cowboy fan because they the best football team in the world. I don't want to hear nothing from y'all sorry ass Redskins fans. So let's start from the beginning. So growing up, my dad would put me and Chaz in all the sports, basketball, football, track. So I started running track at six, started playing football at nine. And he used to be at every meet, every practice, every game, every training, Everything he could be at, he was at. He was one of those dads. But he also worked for the Bahamas Tourist Office in a certain department that made him have to travel for his job sometimes. So I just wanted to set that up. So now let's fast forward freshman year. So ninth grade, my school, my high school was so overcrowded, they had to put all the freshmen on a separate campus away from the main campus in a bunch of portables. So they built all these portables and that's where we went to school. And it was still so overcrowded that we were on tracks. And what the tracks were is that each track had a day off. So my track, Purple Track, had Mondays off. So every week I had a three-day weekend because it was so overcrowded. So some people all Tuesday, Wednesday. So mine happened to be Monday, great. So after school, I would have to catch the bus to the main campus to go play football. So. I set that all up because eventually the next year, they were building, well, during freshman year, they were building a new school to separate, to you know, have some students go there so it would be less crowded. So when they did that, my football team, my freshman football team going into 10th grade got split up because half the team went to the new school, half the other team stayed at the current school. So that year, 10th grade, my sophomore year, that team was phenomenal. Like, it was phenomenal. Like, we went undefeated that season. We were beating everybody. Everybody was scoring. It was fun. So now that season for homecoming, we played the new school where all my, you know, teammates went. So naturally, they talking cash shit. They saying they going to beat us all week. They, 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 they you know, they, they saying they calling people. They doing, they doing everything. So on the day of the game, you know, homecoming, like the biggest game, it is packed. I'm talking about to capacity where it, it was standing. People had to stand because no more seats left and we had huge bleachers. So while I'm there, you know, getting ready, warming up, I see my former quarterback and my brother's best friend, little brother, and they talking shit to me like, you ain't going to do nothing in this tonight's game. We definitely going to beat y'all because our squad better. Did y'all see, you see our squad, this and that. And I never was a trash talker when it came, when I'm playing football, I, especially before a game, I would internalize everything so I can just concentrate. So I'm like, all right, we'll see. So now the game starts and you know, I got a couple catches, but then I score my first touchdown. That's right, Ron. I scored more than one. I didn't say nothing. You was thinking it. Uh, oh, okay. So on my first touchdown, I was playing slot receiver. <laughs> I was playing slot receiver, which means there's two outside receivers, one in the slot, and they sent me in motion, which means I'm running behind the quarterback. And then right, before, right when I get past the outside receiver, he would hike it, and I would take off for a fade. Now, while this play was so good, if you're trailing me from this side to the, the other as a cornerback, you getting caught up in traffic. As soon as he hiked the ball, I already got my momentum to take off. Or if they play in zone, I just got my momentum to take off. So on this play, the cornerback was, you know, chasing me. And as soon as I, he hiked it, I took off, gave him a little juke that, uh -uh, that, uh -uh. And he, he made him stutter. And I just took off. I'm running because I know the ball coming to me. So I'm just trying to get as much gap between me and him. I look back. 
the ball is in the air. And it, it's so high, it looked like it was a blimp. And now I'm looking at it and concentrating and then everything goes quiet. I hear, ah, because I'm concentrating so hard, I can't hear nothing no more. So all I hear is, and all I'm thinking, catch this ball. You better catch this ball because you wide open. If you don't catch this ball, it's going to be embarrassing. And you and everyone looking, everyone here is like, catch this ball. Just concentrate. Look it in because it ain't nothing worse for a receiver to drop an open. I'd rather be covered and drop than drop an uh, a open pass. But, of course, Rome, I was that dude. So, as soon as I caught it, boom, everything came back. Ah! <sighs> I score. I'm pointing up at the stands at my brother, best friend, little brother, my former quarterback. I don't know where they at, but I'm pointing. I know they know it's me. I know it. I know they see me point. I'm just pointing all up there because I'm letting you know, yeah, what's now? What you talking now? So fast forward to halftime. It's tied up. <laughs> <laughs> fast forward to halftime. It's tied up. They, they scored too. They, they was doing their thing. So now we in halftime, right? And we split up defense and offense. And I go on the offensive side, and our head coach at the time was also our play caller. So he got the board out. He said, this is what we're going to run out of halftime. And I kid you not, I've never done this before and never done it since, but something just took over my body. I said, hey, coach, he looked back at me, and the rest of the offense looked back at me. I said, you ain't even got to write that play. I'm going to take the kick return back to the house. He just looked at me. And he just went back to the play. I was like, damn, like everyone is a non-believer today. To all the non-believers. How did that? To all the non-believers. Everyone think I can't do what I say I'm gonna do. So I'm like, I'm gonna show. So we come out of halftime. I get in my, I, we huddle right quick. I said, hey, everyone block. If you just do your job, take one person, leave me the kicker. You know the kicker ain't going cause I was a jicker. I was too small to be taking hits. So I'm <laughs> give them all that. I said, I'll take care of him. They kick the ball. It comes directly to me, so I catch it. I start off just going in the middle a little bit, the waiting to see where I want to cut. I'm running, all of a sudden I see two blocks. Whap, whap, right side open up. I cut, now I'm running. Cause it, it just split open like the Red Sea. I'm just running, I just hear the crowd. Ah, it's getting hype. I see my teammates on the sideline. I'm just running, I'm getting it, I'm running. Then I see the, in that hole, in my vision, I'll see the touchdown. I see the kicker coming in. I'm like, all right. I told him what I'm going to do. So I'm, I'm running. I'm like, I'm about to, I'm like, score. You're going to score. You're going to score. I'm saying in my head, you're going to score. Everything gets quiet. So I'm setting him up. He coming at an angle. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to run a little bit towards the sideline. So he think I'm trying to hit the sideline. So he did that, I hit him. With, ah. He went this way, I went this way. This is open field, everything came back. Ah, I'm running again, I'm running again. I score, I spike the ball, I point up to wherever they are in the stands because they know it's me. I don't know where they are, so I'm just, it look like I'm trying to follow a bug. You see that bug? I'm just pointing at everybody. I run back, I throw my helmet, I go, I'm like, oh, I told you. He said, you did, I, said, I told you, don't doubt me no more. So how did that just feel? Feel great, poetic justice. We end up losing. I'm playing. I'm playing. But we end up winning that game. I had more stats. I don't know. Those are the two biggest plays I had that game. But shit, that shit was the best. Because there's no better feeling than doing it or in front of haters, the rival team, and homecoming in front of everybody. So you know that Monday, I was the man. I came back, you know. I was that, I was that nigga. So, and my dad. Didn't see none of it because he was out of town that day. But Chaz was there and recorded it on the camera so he got to see it. But the best game of my life, he missed. He made all the rest, but the best one. And yeah, that was the best football game of my life that uh, my dad never saw. One question. Yeah, but if, it, if it's anything about me playing football, yeah, I'm that dude. Yeah, when I was drinking. <laughs> but um, <laughs> did anybody from either team go to the league? From the, yeah, either the two teams? Those two teams. Those, in particular, those two One. Teams. One. One. You remember what team he went to? Raiders. Okay. That's all I had. Mm -hmm. But he couldn't cover me, though. He was oh. a corner. He couldn't cover me. He would tell you that. He'd probably say no, but he couldn't cover me. He Nobody could cover me. Playing. Oh, he probably not. 
No, he's not still playing. Okay, okay. He's not still playing. Okay. But he made it. He made it. Yeah, he made it. He made it. And uh, you, you, you doing comedy now? No, you said you had one question, so you had two. And you doing comedy now? Yeah. You, yeah. I'm in a group with you. You know that. Okay, that's it. Okay. <laughs> You gonna cut it or I gotta cut it? You gotta cut it. Oh. You put your ass to work. This ain't football team. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> All right, what comes in the box once you get it? All your retainers. I got. 15 of them, so it's going to take me 15 weeks to straighten my teeth. And I only got the top teeth because I need a bottom tooth extracted. But what's cool about Bite, they work with me, so they'll still help me with my top teeth until I get my bottom teeth situated. So I got 15 retainers all in this box. Also, got some accessories. I got what you put your retainers in carry around when you take them out to eat or if you out or whatnot at a restaurant you're on a date put it in there and I got some whitening foam to use whiten my teeth also we got the hyper bite which is really cool which um, cuts your time in half if you use it every day I think it's just for five minutes a day it'll cut your treatment time in half there is the only technology that um, Bite has, the technology that only Bite has, which is really cool. It separates them from all the other competition, so I'm excited to use that. And yeah, so today is the day. I'm gonna open this one. See what it looks like. Boom, but I still get the bottom with it, but it's probably just gonna keep it in place where it's at, which is cool, but this is the, my first, my first trade for the first week of straightening my top teeth. So, comes with instructions. The way comes with a little sticker that says the wait is over. It's time to bite. I know you can't see it, but they focus out of it. This is cool. Let me pop it in, and it fits. It fits perfectly, actually. And it's comfortable too. But I gotta take it out before I eat or drink anything that's not water. So that's cool. So let me put this in the tray. So if y'all wanna start on this journey, just use my code Bite DT. So this is my three bad encounters with the singer Tyrese. Let's go, y'all.